Right, I've had this email from from Mike who is having difficulty implementing something with Designs Park Mechanical and he sent me the model he's trying to play with. Trying to manipulate in some way. So let us have a look at it. So I'll double click it, open with space claim, is it going to open? It's taking it its time, let's try again, open with space claim default okay doesn't seem to want to do it well it just so happens I've actually downloaded it so we'll do it that way so we can get rid of it and fire up Good old DSM. Here we go. Right. Open. Right, and that's the file he has sent me. He's actually honoured me by putting my name on it. Jim Taylor question. Open that. And this is what he's trying to uh, come up with. What he wants to do, I believe, is that he's got this three eighths of an inch hole through here and he wants to put a recess in this end that diameter to accommodate some part of the mechanism so I think what he might have tried is to pull this through to cut out the recess and this plane is at right angles to the center line through the hole so that's okay so let's try that we'll select the surface there's the surface there and we'll pull it pull it through now if we want per recess I'm going to choose the cut and then pull it in and it's gone in about let's say one inch and nothing seems to have happened you see nothing has cut through we'll try that again we'll try and pull it all the way through and see what happens select cut and drag it right through Oops. and it hasn't worked even if I select cut over here and try again left click and drag it doesn't work so perhaps if I make a solid out of it I will select that and pull into a solid And we've got the solid over here. If we move the solid into into the object and use a combine tool, so 
So we'll select combine, select the cutter object, which is that one solid there. And then try and cut it out. That hasn't worked either. So if we again go to well, escape from that, so the move again, solid, and pull it out, it has not worked. So there's something not working very well. Or maybe it can't work well on this particular arrangement that Mike has got. So I've also tried to split the body. If we drag that into the split body. Click target object, which is the main body. So we'll click that. Click face plane or edge loop to use as a cutter. I will try now unable to split body. So there's something wrong with the geometry or too complex for this to work. I've noticed that, we'll square this up sideways, I've noticed that although the plane is at right angles to the centre line, it is, this plane we're using is right angles to the centre line of the hole, it is not parallel with the curved surface here. We've got a little piece here, but we've got nearly three times as much. So there's probably a lot of complex geometry going on that it's trying to cope with and I don't think it can. So this is not going to work I don't think. Escape, move, solid. So that's unfortunately not going to work. Okay, what I'm going to do is delete this. Delete, right. And there's a few more surfaces around here, which I don't quite know what they are doing. That one, and that one. Anyway, the solution I've found, I don't think I'll be upset by these other surfaces. You know, I'm going to leave them switched off. Ah, there's an annotation plane. There's probably something on an annotation plane. Possibly. Hmm. Well, that's, uh... Anyway, we don't need that. So I'm going to turn these off just to leave the solid. I'm going to show how I've managed to solve this problem. So, okay, we're going to select the pull tool and select that edge. And then this copy edge tool. Now we see we've got two pointy things. I'm going back that way, one that way that we can move so we can now pull our edge in and it is like a curvy edge like a, like a crisp potato crisp edge of a potato crisp but uh, we might not mind that So we'll 
pull that in a bit more ah we've got two of them now wow anyway we just need one so we can select that one say and delete it delete key right now we can delete this part of it and it's saying radius of 0 0.188 which I reckon is 3 sixteenths which gives the 3 eighths of an inch diameter hole so Mike is saying that he wants a 3 quarter recess so we'll change that to 0.375 return and there we have A recess. Now, because this edge was not a perfect circle, like a, it was like a, the edge of a pit, potato crisp, this won't be a flat, totally flat counterbore here. That may be okay for his purposes, but if you want a totally flat counterbore, you could use that edge and drag it all the way along to there. So now we've got a perfectly flat edge. So there it is. <clears throat> uh, an example of why some things work and some things don't. But there always seems to be more than one way of skinning a cut or putting a recess into a curved surface. So. I think that will be useful to Mike and maybe it might be useful to a few others. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again very soon. Bye. Now then, here is an additional piece of video because I've spotted something. If we highlight this edge and then make a copy of it and then try to pull it, notice this chain dotted line down here which is the center axis of this curve I believe it turns out that you can pull it so far but you can't pull it past that edge successfully you can it looks as though it's pulling past it but when you release it stopped well, there's two of them. I don't think I've pulled it properly. I'll try again. I'll cancel that. Said. Said. Try again. I'm going to try and pull it. Press the left button and drag and drag and drag. Drag and release. Failed to modify edges. So you can't pull at a certain distance there to that point and select it again and pull it a bit further that has worked there's one there select that one pull again release and it's failed. So we see we haven't been able to get past the center line of the curve. Okay, so if you want to go past this curve, it looks as though you're going to have to definitely use the back, back one and pull right, pull that one through. And that one looks as though it, let's have a look. Release, yes. There we go. So it's gone right back through there to one of these. Just to prove it, I'll cancel all these. And go to here 
grab that pointy one, drag, and there we go. It worked. So of course now we're able to select that part of the bore, change that to point three seven five, and we've got a nice recess with the flat so select we'll go to select one side, control click select the other, press X for section. square it up down here and there we see we've got a nice counter ball with a flat face because we've dragged this proper circular part of the hole right through to there trying to use this this part runs into trouble once you have you're trying to get past this center line so you kind of go past this cylinder part of the the part of the part. <laughs> so there you go, that's solved that one. It's just lucky that uh, you actually have a flat face here at right angles so you can't come from the back of the part through to there. So using that, that end you can put a counter bow any length from the front to the back. Bye!